documentary. For sure. For sure. And uh, when's the next viewings in Ontario? For sure. Okay. So uh, our tour in Ontario uh, for the eleventh day, uh, on the twelfth. Unfortunately, the showing is sold out. Sold out already in Ontario. It's a day. Um, they have a five hundred seat facility there. And that's sold out. A little over 24 hours of them hosting the event. Yeah, I was talking um, to Melissa and Rob there. Right? Yeah, so they were there. They're tasting pink, and I'm ecstatic. Uh, after that, we are heading to Whitby in Toronto, and that's on the 13th. Uh, there's still about 100 tickets left for that one, so that venue has a, a, a bit left. Um, so we, we try, really tried hard to go down to Windsor, Ontario, or to uh, uh, Niagara on the 14th, but we were denied from all the locations that we were in communications with. Um, just the fact that they didn't, they wouldn't even watch the screener, which is the really unfortunate part. There's a great story about uh, Saskatoon. We had difficulties getting a, a, a theater in Saskatoon. Uh, and the Magic Lantern, uh, Roxy Theater, you know, the, uh, the Magic Lantern uh, its national manager was a little bit apprehensive, well, he was apprehensive uh, about having our film in their theater. And so I sent him a screener. And this individual, even though he doesn't necessarily agree with the messaging uh, or, or, or the, the convoy standpoint, he said, this film needs to be seen. Um, it's not extremism, it's not alarmism, it's not... Uh, uh, it, it's a communication point, it's a point of view of the convoy, and he in turn announced it on their website that they're going to be showing film. He was getting 60 emails a day of people threatening to ban his theater. His entire frontline staff quit. None of them had seen it. And now all of a sudden this person that was a force of the convoy was defending our film, was saying, no, we're going to show this. You haven't seen it. Uh, what you're proposing is a good old fashioned book learning. You've never read the book. You looked at the cover and it looks scary to you. You the book by its cover. 100%. And, and uh, this this fellow was defending our film to, to the very people that love the Roxy Theater. Uh, and we're telling him they're going to ban the theater. And he's like, ban me. I, I, this is, if, if I don't show this film, I am squashing. You know, uh, open communication. I'm squashing the opportunity. The transparency. The transparency. I'm squashing the opportunity for people to be able to dial. And 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 I was I was blown away after he had watched the film. It was phenomenal. And we sold out the Roxy. 485 seats. Wow. Oh, really mad. They have not sold out the Roxy in the last three and a half years. Good. They had a whole new frontline staff, and it was a concession. They don't take tips or anything, but the, 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 the crowd came out, and they were giving tips, and all these new staff members from Roxy were just like, come back anytime. That's awesome. Yeah, good, and they good. had to make this little makeshift tip jar out front, and it was, a, it was just a testament to how the convoy was down in Ottawa. Just in a small, you, you saw a little glimpse of it, just in a theater uh, well, in, in Saskatoon. It's how people come together, right? 100%. Like, and a lot of people judge the book when it's covered, but until they see it, it's like, wow. A hundred percent, yeah. And that's, and that's what our goal with the film is, is to not divide. I don't I don't want to further that chasm between those on this side and those on this side. No, we our, our goal is to have this as a bridging gap for, for to open that dialogue. To have someone that's on one side maybe question where their foundation is set and be like, some of this stuff was far to the night. Oh, yeah. And then extreme on the other side, if someone's going, like, they're so angry that, that you know, people aren't believing them, it brings them back to center and grounds them into a, a, into a rooted nature of what the convoy was all about. Right? So that's, that's really the, the core of our, our documentary. After Toronto, we're going back to Ottawa on the, uh, on the that's 15th, and that's in Canada. Okay. Um, and uh, Kanata's almost sold out. I think there's only about 30 or 40 tickets left on that one. Um, good, good. And then after that, we go all the way over to Winnipeg, and that's on the 17th. We've got a huge venue there, lots of space. Uh, they've, they've opened up the venue for a long time afterwards for people to have conversations. There's oh, just over 600 seats there. I, I haven't checked the ticket sales on that one. I know it's going to go quick. Uh, the Hutterites are coming out in full force. Um, they're going to be attending the screening, and they're just like, make lots of seats available for us. So, are uh, the people from Camp Hopeful? Yes. Good. Yeah, so, good. so good. Uh, Walter, Walter Hebert there, and Jeff Bolden, and a lot of the, a lot of the convoy supporters there. Uh, uh, the, um, uh, uh, there's, there's a few, there's quite a few families that we touch base with in that, in that area. Good. 
Good. Good. Really looking forward to it. And then on the 29th, we end our uh, in-person tour in uh, Victoria. Okay. And then is that when the movie comes out afterwards? Well, then we, then we have about 40 independent theaters right now okay. that are going to be releasing it for a week, first week of April. Really? So, is it across the nation? Or? Yes. Yeah. So they're, they're all over the place. And that goes for any viewers here that are watching as well. If they want to be an ambassador for the film, what we had to do uh, uh, for our tour is to uh, reach out to theaters in person, rent the venue ourselves, set up our own ticketing. Um, but if, if someone wants to be an ambassador for a uh, film, they, they can go to their local uh, uh, theater, request the film to be shown, uh, ask us for an ambassador package, we can give you all the papers and all the things that they need uh, to bring it to their theater, and uh, and and basically buy on our behalf. Essentially, and, that, and that's uh, that's the way we're uh, able to bring it to so many theaters. The um, we're in negotiating negotiations right now with the Atlantic theaters to bring it across all of theirs because they had such a warm reception in, in Saskatoon. Um, so things are definitely moving. Once that's done, we've submitted to a bunch of international film festivals, and this is where the paths can divide. Yeah. Yeah. If we're accepted into international film festivals like the Cannes Film Festival. Yeah, for some of the major ones. We unfortunately have to do a viewing embargo on our film until that festival is done. Okay, okay. So we wouldn't be able to release DVDs or go on a streaming platform until the end of August. Uh, if we'll find out sometime uh, in the middle of April here if we're accepted. Um, uh, if, we're ex if we're not accepted, then we're going to start uh, shipping pre-sales of DVDs, Blu-rays, USB sticks uh, end of April. And we're hoping to be on a, a, a more mainstream uh, viewing platform, a uh, streaming platform by the uh, uh, mid -season. There you go, guys. So is there any, anything else you guys have to ask? I think you pretty much answered all you guys' questions there. Oh, for, uh, for Whitby, I just noticed a couple of questions yeah. that who do you contact? Uh, all our tickets are available right now on Eventbrite. Uh, if you either search Eagle Vision Video Productions or Unacceptable with a question mark, uh, all our current events are going to be on there. There's Whitby, Toronto, uh, Winnipeg, uh, and uh, Victoria as well. Uh, Danier has sold out, so that has been put off. Uh, but if you have any other questions, feel free to email unacceptabledoc at eaglevisionvideo.ca. So they're asking also if, if I'm able to record the first 10 to 15 minutes of the document. Uh, unfortunately, we can't release. There's, no, there's, there's yeah. fairly strict rules on... Um, Film festivals. Okay. okay. The, the video can't cross international lines. We're able to do in-person viewings, test screenings, things like like we're doing today. Yeah. Um, but on a streaming platform, it's all of a sudden online, and unfortunately, we're not. Okay. Just, so if yeah. if I personally record it, yeah, and keep it for myself, and just put clips, like two-minute clips, is that okay or not? Uh, unfortunately, I would have to. Thank you. No, 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 no that's, <laughs> what I, that's what I'm asking. I, I, I'm right? only being cautious because if we did get accepted and then we were denied because of something because that was that. online, I, yeah. I, uh, it would be, it would be un unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, that's why I'd rather ask.